Max. Prove yourself. You see that combo, Swifty? That's only now if the homing missile back and sick uh, missile crawl actually dropping super load. First blood is being dropped with an extra bit of nuke damage. My pro himself though, he's making made rotation as they go on to BBCD here. Maybe a mistake as they'll now reveal not just Shakira but also the Chen. The toss will secure the kill onto the night star. It's away. So there's a bit of a chance for Nagy, but uh, not a big one. Just a little bit one. A little bit of a chance. And this TNT was credited with that. It's gonna go nightmare. They did see no chance here. Didn't see Mr. Crowell setting up for that. So fearless will drop. Does he have a no lesser yet. No. He's six, but. No lasso, so he's just running down. I guess that also works. Who need being uh just some action down the bottom the rocket is starting to fly out. Blizzard slowed down. VCD, maybe he could Nah he doesn't have another avalanche or anything. No sun back so this Just save now, you. maybe he can get the combo on Blizzard. Only the one spell, nope. it's not really enough. Not remotely. A bit late though, okay. Death Prophet also going down. Signify. One kills on two fronts and maybe add a third one, the extra slows. Yeah, Lion X. No way out of this one this time. Three heroes die across the map. Get double but, stun uh, yeah. Creeps are still there, double stun. My pro with the dual breath is also good fly. I'll be able to secure the kill. Yeah, they already TP'd uh TNT2 was the top lane on um, Nightmare. Fall down. Fearless. Does the spirit siphon and does a lot of damage in return. Gets sent back as of Astro Imprisonment. You have absolutely no way to farm anywhere quickly, but Phoenix maybe you can farm some heroes with the Phoenix Grip. Starting to work away and the hammer. You drop it down very fast, very easily indeed. What's the trade-off here? T1 tower in mid will finally fall swiftly. So it's also spells in return. Gets caught up by the sprout, my bro. Already dropping down that uh, macro pile to zone him away, but there's a lasso with no follow up damage. It's actually in the back. It's trying to burst down the Death Prophet Fearless, getting a few spurt siphons off, but you'll you'll stop that this time, but it's enough again for the sandback. They lose Chen, they get Jaro as well as the tower. Now can Alpha Red get away and the other heroes? CNT is gonna be run down. No chance after him, so no chance for him either. One would think. There we go. He buys a Midas though. He abused again, isn't he? Yeah. One, two, three, I'm on a killing spree. That's what Blizzard is singing right now. It's still level 10 on the Death Prophet, so you only have access to on level 1. You really want to reach that level 2. Oh, what? Uh, he also picked up the vitality booster, so he's extra tanky. Now they know about destruction. I feel like Alfred has to evacuate. Not doing it though, the Fiend Scrap from the outside. Death Prophet in a lot of trouble, going to be bursted down. Nagy gets the credit for that as they also take care of the Chen as well as the Screep. So this is an absolute disaster, especially since the Lasso catches the Nation's Prophet. He's not long for the world either. And Mypro once again gets the Macro Pyre down to get rid of the next Creep Wave. But Mypro working away at the bottom wave. It's no chance here to go with Blizzard, so. Uh, yeah, that, that happens. Did even use Top lane though, that's more interesting. TNT. Mr. Crawl can find him with a fiend script whenever he wants to. Right now, he figures, well, might not even need it. Strung him down, with constant slows, and the fire burning away, but <laughs> running right into the rest of Alpha Red. So, it's gonna be the counterverse. Mr. Crawl also. Don't really have a lot of defensive utility left, so that will be a dead bane. Dodges the tree. <laughs> Almost. Mr. Crow. Alright, he's not actually going to die. A Lion X TP out just in time, but only towards the shrine. I figured it out a little bit too oh late. No. As it's my pro. Yeah, they, they clean up a few of these creeps, anyways. My pro, he just dies and no chance. Can quite find tiny as he uh, Invis TPs out with the Cheddar Emlet, but now TNT instead. Does not sprout in a second, but doesn't get a chance to pop it. Banished up, the creeps will be getting gotten rid of, and now with the call down, he's uh, he was sent back, so he will be fine. Chen, not so much. Trying to take this fight near Nigel, looking for a target for the last one, looking to try and find TNT. That's a little burst coming his way though, with Fila still banging life in the front with Spirit Siphon sent back though. Didn't have the access available, so once again he does survive. Even my pro 
They just want to soon they have no chance. They refocus as they find the fiend scrub onto TNT. Hi there. <laughs> Still gets stunned somehow, but Oh now maybe it was a bait! BBCD is there with a burst! Fans of Astral, but his, yeah, he's should be dead in the end, and he is indeed. TNT dies at the same time. Can you really keep this up though? I mean, there is a Blink Vaso available, there's no chance, it's a Fiend Scrub. Onto the Death Prophet and Swifty coming in. Swift does the Wolves of uh, something, as he's already being sent back, so it is Half Red on the retreat, throwing out some spells. My Pro with the TP out, still be able to cancel it with the Lasso. That's one down, another sand pack on the Tiny actually, so. All they get is the supports. Making the best out of them. Yeah, instead of them tiny. Status resistance. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Watch as you have it. Me and the signs coming through. Extra help from TNT. Still having some issues dealing with this Night Stalker, actually. Now, Mr. Crawl coming through. Nightman 1. Raiden's girl actually dies. Blizzard coming in from the back. Plenty of time being brought, but now, come inside the ice path, but there's no damage. Feel as he's just gonna be versed down by the right clicks. With or with. Oh, maybe not. The silence on Blizzard actually making sure that they cannot use that arcane orb. They will get the revenge on Chen, who once again. Just, uh. And he sees the ward silence up, but he's making his way out of that initiation. Now the counter with the lasso, with the fiend scrub into Swifty with his BKB, with all the AoE in the world. BBCD will be the first one to fall. A lot of AoE damage done though to signify his nightmare on Bane, but he's still sitting inside the fire. Fearless with his BKB actually doing quite a bit of damage, but it's now timed out. The right clicks are there, and Dryocopter still very healthy himself. One more rocket. Barrage here with the homing missile fizzling out as TNT. He's not even surviving that one either. The only one I was taping out on one BBCD. Oh, mm. he's still in this? No, he was not. Oh my god. I think no chance just didn't look. <laughs> losing two kills, losing the race for nothing. Well, they get a consolation prize here, which is a chance. Yeah. Intelligence dropped the hammer, but right now he's the one being initiated on BBCD. Taking it down half L, Fearless with a follow up, and the shrine is there, but they cannot get it off in time. No OD. Siphon lifted himself up into the air. The fight goes on, but Lasso, self resistance is a thing though. He's being stunned up, but now more invis. No more detection available. The double sprout on two heroes are sitting there like ducks. Yeah, indeed, the girl will do some damage here no matter what. And now BBCD going in with nice life buff here on two. Keeping both of these cores away and with the silence on top, nothing against that. And meanwhile, up to TNT. He's just doing his thing. Gonna get rid of one, two buildings in the bottom lane. Full rack should go down. There's the hammer finally being dropped. Tiny. Macrovide just zone him out to try and to snipe that, but Nagy's in the middle of that with the lasso onto the Tiny. Not sure about this one. BKBs come out from all sides as Blizzard try and find a target that you can go on. Fiend script onto Death Prophet. Keeping him out of the fight for the most part, but the exorcism is still going and still no possibility to burst him. So instead, they're going for the sides. Found Chen looking for Tiny here with a <laughs> blink out. It's actually signified, he's chasing them around for the time being. So BBC and Fearless can. Okay, that was a big crit, but the hammer is bigger! BBCD gets the avalanche off after the two man. <laughs> the two man ice path there from Jakiro. The and the four stop. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> not. Enough to keep him safe and my pro sticking around trying to make that play. Saber and oh god, this is gonna hurt so much, but maybe not enough. Now there's a crit on the blizzard. There's another one forcing four stuff out even after the BKB. So he's still alive, pops a refresher shot and BBCD. Where's this damage now? It's not there! The feed script! Well, I miss it. Complete feelers trying to do the turnaround. We'll find no chance as Niggy spreads fire in the back. One for one trade so far, but Blizzard finally coming back into the fray. Sound to right click away. That's Lion Axe. We'll be down to Brain Step of all things. You'll to the side of my pros. Niggy and Blizzard isolate him from the rest as there's a mini Doom from TNT, but cannot feel comfortable going forward. Blizzard with the banishment! They will miss out on the rocket stun, but they will secure the kill regardless. There's no defensive utility left. Onto the ice path. Does have cheese? Satanic already used. Be able to get it off if he wants to know. Blizzard with a BKB pops hammer early to help with the pit pop down a few kills. Talking of bases. Oh, oh, he has to be punished here. 
And looks like you will be. Right clicks is still maintained vision. He is dead, but the Treants getting bot rex. They can't get top because it's still tier 2 standing there. So they're looking for pickoffs. There it is. If they can get the DP, this might all be over. There's a the buyback available. There's also a send back. BKB committed on the gyrocopter, and so far, so good. Fiendscript not gonna last for too long here. But Bane was dead anyway. Excellent. They do. They have the X on Night Stalker. But now they're going in, they're part of the team fight, and they find the Jakiro first. Gumby versus Iron Blizzard with the BKB in the back to send back action. Jakiro is still alive, now Fearless in the middle of that still. But his uh, Aeon Disc has expired, the Fiend Scope holding him in. No BKB to protect from the orbs. The Yule Scepter for now. Meanwhile, Night Stalker just tanking up the Tiny, but they did lose the Death Prophet. No buyback on that hero. Now Tiny, he's actually in trouble as well. You'll stop. No way out of this one. Uh, what? The toss? The middle lane here. They tried to TP back. It'll be cancelled, but Tiny will lose life because of it. He does have buyback available. Alpha yeah, Red, they the don't actually have anyone but the battle right back here until Swifty also joins in. The tower was super low already, so it's not the beast of deals, so, but it forced the Alpha's rotation. That is the big deal. TNT. Will he survive, though? The rocket. One, two, three right clicks. Well, maybe a little bit more. No buyback so will secure that kill, too. Oh, it's good, it's good. I didn't see what was on there, but now the fight comes out. Blizzard with the BKB, the lasso on the Nature's Prophet. He is down. He can buy back and go back in if they think that this fight is some one thing that they can take, but it is not. Eventually end up dropping. Same for Jakiro. Another TP cancel. With Swifty in all of this, he's just pushing out middle lane by the looks of it. Fearless. Close on the silence. It takes forever. BBCD actually coming back in, so forever is maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> Swifty, alright, finally he says enough is enough. He comes in, the Yules, but finally gets the kill. And BBCD, he's all of a sudden left alone in No Man's Land I, as well. Dies a second time. TNT and MyPro, they also walk back. If they die, it's gonna be over. The TP, oh, boots of travel <laughs> to find the Axel Jakiro. MyPro is down. And now it's only the Prophet. He has to fight the heroes to make it work. Bane is uh, dropping very, very low. Might end up dying if he didn't get that Glimmer Cape off. But follow up control is there from the lasso. TNT, he cannot, uh, he can't pressure buildings. But on the other side, Signify, for sure, they can swift. He's still holding on to the Divine Rapier. And Shen, literally nothing he can do. GG, well played this call as TNT drops even in the bottom lane. Celebratory feeds group.